what? Star Wars The Clone Wars is coming to San Diego Comic-Con. Plus, I sat down with the handsomely dressed comedian Paul F. Tompkins to talk about Star Wars. Because that's what we do here. This is The Star Wars Show. From the Lucasfilm headquarters in San Francisco, here's your hosts, Andy and Anthony. Hello, and welcome to The Star Wars Show. The only Star Wars show on the internet celebrating its first ever 101st episode. We did it! I thought there was going to be a confetti cannon. Mm, probably used all the money and the budget for that on all the Red Millennium Falcon shirts last week. Huh. Totally worth it, though. Yes. Yeah, let's go to the news. San Diego Comic-Con is just a few short weeks away, and Lucasfilm is planning on throwing a celebration. Star Wars The Clone Wars, the Emmy Award-winning animated series, is celebrating its 10th anniversary with its very own panel at Comic-Con. The panel will be headlined by executive producer Dave Filoni, along with special guests, as they take a look back at the stories and characters that not only made this series special, but enriched the Star Wars universe. The panel is set for Thursday, July 19th at 11.45 a.m. For more details, check out StarWars.com. And while we're on the subject of Comic-Con, Gentle Giant revealed another Star Wars exclusive. This time it's the Jedi Luke mini bust from Return of the Jedi. My favorite Luke! Best Luke! The bust features Luke in his black Jedi Knight garb, clutching his green lightsaber, but with the flick of a switch, his lightsaber actually lights up and glows green. Each bust is hand cast, hand painted, and hand numbered, and the edition is limited to only 1,000. For more information, including its price, read the article that was just published on StarWars.com. Finally this week, we want to send out a big congratulations to our friends down the hall at ILM X Lab and The Void for taking home two Can Lions digital craft awards for their work on Star Wars Secrets of the Empire. Well deserved. And for more breaking news from around the galaxy, check out StarWars.com. Much to learn you still have. Ah, uh, Rodians. The usually green, scaly humanoids with bulbous eyes, dual antennae, and suction cupped fingertips. Originally called the Martian on set, Greedo by far is the most infamous of all Rodians, but he wasn't the only one of his kind working for Jabba. There's Beto, the docking bay Rodian, who is coincidentally wearing an identical green jumpsuit. A popular Rodian fashion choice for sure. Well, unless you're Griotta. A life of crime isn't the only Rodian profession. There are politicians like Anaconda Far, whom Padme called uncle. Then again, his assistant murdered him with poison, so maybe Rodians do love crime after all. <gasps> oh no. Come to think of it, Rodians stink. Literally. In fact, some establishments on Rodia filter the air with flowery perfumes. Want more Rodian fun facts, including how George Lucas saved the actor who played Greedo's life? Check out StarWars.com slash much to learn. I'm joined now by actor, comedian, improviser, certainly a high-ranking member on the Council of Podcasters. I know I'm not supposed to talk about the Council of Podcasters. I'll allow in it in an intro. Thank you. Mr. Paul F. Tompkins, thank Hello. you for being here. Anthony, thank you for having me. I know we can't go into the proceedings of the Council of Podcasters, oh, and I would never ask. It's forbidden to outsiders. <laughs> but you're also a huge Star Wars fan. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I've noticed it over the years kind of just like leaking into things you do. I know Super Ego, you guys had a bit where you were Red Squadron. Brown I think Squadron. You were Brown Squadron. Yes, poor old Brown Squadron. Yeah. <laughs> And everybody explodes at the end. Yeah. I saw the first movie in theaters when I was a kid, and it was the most exciting thing. There had never been anything like this in my short life before, and I still remember how it felt. It was thrilling. I had to immediately go home and draw as many pictures as I could yeah. of the scenes from the movie. Yeah, I did the same thing. I was going home, I was just like, and Luke's lightsaber looked like this, yeah. and he flew a <laughs> ship that looked like this. Yeah. Yes. I remember how much time it took to get the circles of C-3PO's stomach, but then the wires as well. He was very specific. It's a lot of detail work, a lot of yeah. fine motor skills that's for a small that's child. Right. That's right. That kind of came full circle for you because you were at the Last Jedi premiere last year, Yeah, right? that was really exciting. Ryan Johnson, who's a guy that I've met just a couple times over the years, but I was shocked and delighted that he invited my wife and I to go to the premiere. And I've been to movie premieres before. This was the craziest and most exciting thing that I ever got to go to. There was a bunch of press banks set up and we walked past Daisy Ridley giving a sort of lightsaber demonstration to this little kid. First of all, it's the sweetest thing that you could ever want to see, but then also, I love her so much. Yes. I love her so much because I'm at an age where instead of having a crush on this actress and this character, I feel very <laughs> paternal. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm proud of her. And right. so in terms of the things that you would want to happen at this premiere, just to walk past her and see her teaching this little kid like the proper way to twist the lightsaber, that was all I could have asked for. What one of the reasons that we reached out and invited you on the show is I saw you tweet about something that I have always found very interesting, which is the implication that R2 has a potty mouth. <laughs> 
<laughs> I saw you tweet about this. It was not long after The Last Jedi, and I realized, wow, this has been a running thing. The idea that R2-D2 is saying inappropriate things, that people are chastising him for his language. Yeah, and it feels like it extends to like a common droid thing. When you get into the TV shows and the cartoons, mm. things like that, and you think about droids like Chopper and even like 3PO in his own way. I have a big problem with C-3PO. <laughs> Do you really? I loved him as a kid. As an adult, he's a very frustrating guy. Yes. You know, it's like, hey dude, why don't you calm down? You're not even alive compared to everyone else on this ship. You have so little to lose. You just need to relax. That's true. I agree with that. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's why you're on the High Council of Podcasting. I'm sorry, I wasn't supposed to mention it, but he we is. Cut that out. Thank cut you that part for coming by. Of and course. Please don't let the council hold my remarks against me. Mm, we'll see. <laughs> Hello, my name is Yusak Komiyama. I'm writing a Star Wars Lost Stars manga. Oh, that was an episode? Yeah, I gotta say, it felt a little weird not being dressed up and singing and dancing. That I kind of got used to it. Yeah, but we finished making the episode a lot faster this week. That is very true. So should we address the audience? Yes, hello audience. <laughs> so normally during this time in the show, we're asking for your submissions or revealing our favorites, but this week we're doing something completely different. That's right, we are very excited to announce. All right, you wanna do it, you want me to do it. That we're taking the next week off. Not because we're lazy, because we're patriotic kind of a little, just a little bit lazy. Plus, nobody wanted to come into the office to work on a holiday, so. Instead of missing out on parades, barbecues, and fireworks, anxiously awaiting a new episode of the show to drop next Wednesday, you will have to go out and enjoy some parades, muscle through attending a barbecue or two, and try not to harm yourself or others with fireworks. And if you live outside of the US, return your library books. Wednesday is the least busiest day at the library. It's a big ask, but we hope you can follow through. And as always, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Talk to us on the Community tab on YouTube. Download the Star Wars app and apply lots of sunscreen if you are celebrating outdoors next week. Yes, lots of sunscreen. Thanks for watching and may the force be with you. And also apply some sunscreen if you're gonna be in the library looking at the microfilm. The screens are real bright. I'm a very pale, very delicate man. You're such a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> For more information, please read the article. Please! Please! Please, please read! I hate you guys. Stop making fun of me. Please read! <laughs> All right, You're my nice. eyes look, my eyes look super watery, but let's do this. <sighs> Be cool. Be cool. Oh, that's funny to you. Ready, guys? Here we go. Three, two. Each bust <laughs> is... <laughs>